All right, if you're interested in knowing what has been brewing in Betaflight 4.5, check out the link below. I just released a Patreon video going through an update uh, from the video I did this summer of what the new features were uh, at the, that point of all the new things that are merged into Betaflight 4.5, but then also are on deck as well. I would guesstimate, I thought this summer as well, that Betaflight 4.5 would be going into release candidate mode, but it's coming up about a year on 4.4. There is some pretty cool features, a lot of GPS rescue enhancements and some other cool things that you can check out. Again, link down below for what those things are. But did you know that you can flash Betaflight 4.5 whenever you want? It's a development build. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to do that. And we're also gonna show you a secret little trick that you need to know to define some of the new cool things in Betaflight 4.5 that you may wanna check out. So let's get into it. So the first thing you'll need to do if you're thinking about checking out Betaflight 4.5 is grab the latest nightly of the configurator just to make sure all the compatibility is there and there's no weird things that occur. To do that, it is pretty easy because Betaflight has a nightly configurator builder. I will drop the link here. This is the website down below so you can just click on it and then you go into here. This will again build every time there's a new a uh, bit of code added or new PR merged into the configurator. What I definitely recommend is if you're on a Windows user is grabbing this one down here, I'm slightly uh, over top of it, this portable version right there. That way you can just unzip it and run it and you don't have to do the install because, you know, you will want to probably grab this, you know, every time you're going to, you know, uh, update, you know, the Zulu version, the the, the nightly build on a, a quad. So you maybe do that like, I don't know, once a month, if you want to check out something new or something like that, you'd want to go grab the configurator again, a new, again, the portable one here and download that and then go through the same process again, just to make sure that the configurator version and the beta flight version, which is the, the nightly build are as compatible as they should be uh, for as this thing progresses and development is occurring. Obviously go into the configurator and you will need to turn on expert mode here. So enable expert mode and then show of uh, release candidates here as well. From there, you're gonna hit this drop down, hit development build. Uh, at that point, you can just hoe a hit and hit auto detect on your target. That should detect the target on your flight controller if you have anything fairly recent beta flight wise on it, like beta flight two, three, or four. And uh, from there, you can select uh, a number of things here. What we're going to want to select though, of course, is the beta flight 4.5 Zulu build. This is a pre-release build. So do keep that in mind that uh, it's flown by people all the time, but it is not the official stable release. Uh, so there is some risk uh, with it. I don't see, I think the risk is low personally, and but don't do stupid things like arm it by looking over the quad and things of that nature. You wanna be just cautious like you always should be whenever flashing new firmware or adjusting settings. So yeah, with that said, uh, and there's never an issue that's ever in this release of Betaflight or any of the, the releases where simply you just disarm if you're anything goofy happens. So yeah, with that said, so you pick the 4.5 release uh, from there, your normal options here as well. And then check out your normal things here for whichever build options. So you're, you should be used to this at this point. Um, you know, this uh, CRFS would support Express LRS if you aren't, or you got to pick your different receiver type down there. And then these are the standard options everybody should need. So you should be good there. Now I will drop this text string down in the video description below. So some of these new features that are in Betaflight 4.5, which I imagine in stable release will be up here under options are not yet in here as options. And what you will need to do is actually put those as custom defines. Now this is a longer text string, but in between the spaces is a different thing. So there's a new thing called quick menu. Again, if you wanna see more about what quick menu is, check out that video link down below. There's an RPM limiter. There's a RC stats for racing stats and things of that nature. And then there's a GPS lap timer here as well. So we will have those as custom defines. If you don't put this text string in all these and you can, you don't have to do them all. You could just do some of them. Uh, and you, when you do the online build, it won't build these new features into your, you know, your custom build that you're going to flash to your target. So again, Text string down below. If you want to know more about these features, link down below to that video as well. After that, it's fairly straightforward. You just hit load flash or load firmware online. It will do a custom build if it's the first time you're it's building these features, uh, all these features combined together for that specific target. But if it's 
already done that, then uh, it will just quickly come up to it's a cached and it's already been built on the server. And then you just hit flash firmware as normal. As I talked about before, uh, this is a you know, development build. So there's some risk. So here we're going to ignore that risk. Another menu that may come up is do you want to back up the settings on your flight controller? I would definitely recommend doing that uh, as well first. And you should know how to do that if you're considering doing this. So we're going to go ahead and ignore the risks and then go ahead and flash our flight controller. Pretty straightforward. Once it's all flashed up, you would load your old settings back in, go through everything to make sure it's squared, and then you can start to check out the new features. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to put those down in the description. Hopefully this helps a little bit if you are looking for some of those custom new things that are in Betaflight 4.5 that you've heard of, but whenever you maybe have built it, you haven't seen them. That's why those are custom defines as of right now that you'll have to add in. And that may be something that uh, is good to know for the future, that that's likely that things that will occur in the future here as well um, for how things are added into Betaflight. So because it, it's not building everything all the time, you can kind of pick and choose a little bit more a la carte. And that's what this whole cloud building system was for. So that as we, uh, as the firmware gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and keeps filling up these flight controllers memories uh, for how they have available on their MCU, that uh, you can kind of pick and choose what you want. And then if you want it all, then you just got to have an H, you know, an H7 flight, you know, flight controller. If you want to make a F405 or an F411 still work for you, you can. You're just going to have to a la carte and choose less options. So you can kind of see where this whole cloud build system is going to really pay dividends into the future. Again, any questions or comments down in the description below. Thanks, everybody. And I hope this helped.